It's the end of the series as we know it, and I feel fine. Hi, I'm Dr. Sumerian. Not a real doctor. <laughs> Gotta throw that in there. Um, and today, we are going to talk about um, uh, contests on the SCP Wiki in general, but also specifically the one that's going on right now, or the type of contest that's going on right now, an XK contest. Let's get started. So... At the end of a series, and when we talk about the end of a series, what we really mean is when there's one to two hundred uh, slots left in an SCP series. And when we say series, I have to define that too. Uh, we mean like uh, 5,000 to 5,099. So there's approximate, well, not approximately, there's exactly 1,000 articles, uh, article slots available in any particular series. There's uh, one through... Uh, 1,000, 1,000, and well, 1 through 99, uh, 1,000 through uh, 1,099, and so on and so forth. Uh, and we call those uh, series. So series 1 is 1 through 999. Series 2 is 1,000 through uh, 1,999. Series 3 is 2,000 to 2,099, and so on and so forth. So. When a series only has a few slots left, the SCP Wiki will open up a contest. The contest winner gets to select first from the new series. And this is important because, of course, if you just open it up, it would just be whoever could reach, most of the time anyway, whoever could reach the uh, big number first, right? Uh, the 6,000 in this particular instance, which is going to be the new series. It's going to be 6,699. Um, and other, you know, attractive numbers. Uh, I, I imagine out of this one, 6,666 will probably uh, be one of the first to go out of the contest. Of course, 6,000, it's anywhere between 6,000 and 6,010 tend to get taken because people like to pick up the first few numbers in a particular series. And then there's other people who may have just their own concepts of what they want that they'll take. But in order to do that, they have to participate, at the very least, in the contest. And the better you place in the contest, the earlier on the list you get to select from. So, how does this work? And I'm speaking from... Uh, I've never actually participated in an XK contest, and uh, as it stands now, I never will be able to. But I have won two or three different contests on the SCP Wiki, and so I have a little bit of experience with how contests work. I also helped run one. Um, in the one I ran, <laughs> maybe this has colored my experiences a little bit, because I was originally looking at the, each of the contests has a theme. Um, you know, you have science fiction, I believe was series three. Uh, Urban Legends, I think was series two. Um, series one, I didn't have a theme because it was just when they started. Uh, although you could say that the theme of series one is probably creepypasta, um, uh, paranormal sort of stuff, um, and so on and so forth. More recently, though, the themes have gotten more and more generic. I mean, we get history, and uh, this time around it's nature. Um, these are so generic that you could literally create any article that would fit the theme um, if you just did a little bit of tweaking. Uh, not a lot of people are willing to do that, though. A lot of people believe that it, like, when they write something, it's got to be, it is what it is. It doesn't, it doesn't change. And that's perfectly valid writing process. I don't agree with it personally. I'm willing to change literally any detail in an article. So uh, a theme like this that's so broadly interpreted, I could literally create any article to fit it. The thing is, though, and this is important, uh, <laughs> I, th I ran a con, well, not ran, I helped run a contest uh way way back oh gosh was it 2017 16 i don't know but it was the short works contest which was basically to see uh, how much you could uh create from v a very limiting uh set of rules and the set of rules was basically you know the shorter the work the more likely you are to win and the one that won is also i believe third or fourth most popular article on the site at this point because that's the truth of the matter when you when you're creating works 
uh, with high limitations, I believe it is uh, uh, it induces creativity. And so I have a little bit of criticism and I, I give this some consideration because a lot of people have made some pretty good points that counter, I should say counterpoints to what I'm saying here. Uh, and I'll go over those in just a moment. Um, but I've always held to the idea that the more limiting the rules of a particular contest are, uh, the more, because you get to, I think of rules as something that you can push and explore, right? You, you just look at the rule set and then what can I do with this rule set, right? That's how I observe and interact with a contest of any kind or any kind of, uh, uh, let's say, creative works. Give me a set of rules and I will push and pull and tug until I find something that works really well. However, I'm not entirely sure that works for an XK contest now that I, I've given it some thought. I had made a video last week in which I like talked about this and then I literally like halfway through kind of went back on my own premise was like, I understand where they're coming from. And then I thought about it and I just stopped, turned off the camera and did something else. <laughs> Because it was like, you know what? I don't think I have a fully formed opinion on this. And I still don't, but I'd like to acknowledge that I think in an XK contest, it, maybe it is better. I mean, because you're not going to get, even in a contest with more limiting, I think in a contest with more limits, you're going to get more higher quality works. I think that is true. Emphasis on think. However, in a more broad contest, which is what, an XK contest really is, you want to have as many participants as possible, or at least you don't want to be turning people away from it, right? So, yeah, I think maybe a broader theme like nature, I, I, I keep saying it like with, in such a dismissive way, but to be honest with you, I mean, it is whatever. <laughs> I just, I still like... I, I accept that maybe a broad theme is good, but I'm just still like, oh, man, I wish it was more narrow because I would love to read what people could come up with with, more, with a more narrow thing. Or if you're going to go broad, this is the other half of it. I think if you're going to go broad, a genre is a better option than just paying lip service to a theme because that's all nature or um, I think history does. It's just lip service. It's like we have to have a theme here have a theme but when you do something like science fiction or in a way urban legends which is still a genre um i think you inspire you you still have that same broad appeal and opportunity but you also focus the writing in a particular way that's my own personal opinion on it though not everyone agrees with that almost certainly uh, <laughs> and I think that, I think you know, other people have some fair points. Like I said, uh, I'm not entirely sure. Uh, it, like, it's gotta happen. So it's not like something you can, uh, discuss and talk about for too long before it happens. This is, it, we're having these yearly at this point. Maybe they'll slow down once the pandemic goes away. I think a lot of people are staying home and riding. Someone mentioned that on, um, one of the discord servers I was on when we were talking about how frequent these are and how, What's the best way to put this? Um, that like I'm gonna use this as an example. Oh, ones don't mean much anymore. There's too many of them for it to mean much. And it's starting to feel the same way when it comes to these XK contests. If they start to become more infrequent, maybe they'll become more important in my mind. Uh, but they're also just because it's one of those things. Is like it's like religion. A thing can have meaning because it has meaning, right? Uh, if people keep attaching huge amounts of meaning to these XK contests and the entries that are being put in, then they have importance and meaning, regardless of if I think the frequency has kind of spoiled it. I might personally think that ones don't really mean much in the grand scheme of things and aren't particularly important articles, but the people who write them certainly do. And some of the people that read them, not some, most of the people that read them, I think, still think of an 001 as like the pinnacle of uh, content on the SCP wiki. Um, and they're allowed to think that. I'm also allowed to think that they're wrong, but I can also, you know, accept that there's probably more than one uh, opinion uh, with a, a fairly valid argument to be made for it. 
Anyway, that's it. I just wanted to talk a little bit about the contest, the current contest that's ongoing. If you want to participate in the contest, go to the wiki and, you know, uh, take a look around. Be Join the wiki. But do your postings. Do everything. Put something up. It doesn't have to be great. That's another thing. When I tell people that, like, the SCP wiki's content isn't generally all that high in comparison to, you know, tra say traditional media, but that's not really fair. Um, that doesn't mean anything. Everybody, almost everybody on the wiki is not a professional writer. Like, and the few that are, are just doing it as a hobby anyway. Like, having an environment where the quality level is higher than most places you can find on the internet, uh, gives you an incentive to grow and to improve. And the fact that the highest of quality stuff... There's probably more high quality stuff on the SCP wiki than there are in other collaborative writing, uh, you know, environments. The fact that there is a high quality ceiling as well, by the way, I want to make that clear, even though the average quality, I think, is pretty low. The quality ceiling is high, so you can become as good as a professional writer by constant. <laughs> through constant writing on the SCP wiki, but it's going to take some time. It's going to take some experience. And that's what writing is. Learn, it's a skill. You learn it like anything else. Practice, practice, practice. And that's what the SCP wiki can be. And the feedback that you get from the SCP wiki can help your practice become, uh, you need to practice less to become better because you understand what does and doesn't work with what you just did. Instead of just writing and being like, I think this looks good. I, I, mean, I don't know. What do you think, dad? What do you think, you know, best friend? What do you think, girlfriend? Instead of that, you have a whole group of people who are more than willing to tear your stuff apart. Um, and that sort of comes back to the idea of the contests, right? So... Contests are supposed to be like a display of the best of the best. And I don't think they always are, but oftentimes they are. So, yeah. Anyway, that's it. Thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please hit the subscribe button and then hit the notification bell next to that so you're notified when I upload new videos. And then head on over to patreon.com forward slash D and pledge at any level like everybody here on the screen already has, including... Dr. J Redacted and Sinjariki, who have both pledged at $100. And you can, when I say you can pledge at any level, I want to make that clear. Um, you don't, like, I mention the $100 backers because, you know, that's a huge deal. Pledge at any level. $5, $10, $20. It all helps. <laughs> Trust me. It's nice to know that I'm not alone out here. And I will see you all again on Tuesday.